It seems to be quite hard to get facial bones from Make Human into Blender. It took me a fair few trials and there don't seem to be any tutorials that tell you how to do it. So after some experimentation, here's how. First of all, we need to put the facial bones on. Uh, there are two rigs in Make Human that have facial bones. There is the default and default no toes. No toes is useful if your character has shoes and so you don't need to animate the toes individually. Having done that, normally I recommend to export via FBX because I'm, I quite like FBX format. But here, the facial bones just turn up like that. They're absolutely enormous. They stick out about a yard in front of his face, meaning that if you're manipulating his facial bones, you can't really see his face that much. Not brilliant. If we export via Collider, we actually have the opposite problem, where the uh, face bones turn out being absolutely minuscule. The key, however, is to tick this particular tick box, Find Bone Chains as you're importing your Collider file. Then all the uh, bones come out rather nice and we're able to animate them. Admittedly, you don't get materials importing via Collider, but those FBX materials we get, as I said in my previous video about creating a crowd in Blender, there isn't as much to them as there appears to be. They're basically just a texture going into diffuse. The exception to this is the eyes. This is the material of the eyes. Look, round eye, and then a diffuse, and then a material output. So why are they coming across as black? These eyes are actually have two different layers on them. I'm just gonna move them to another layer so I can see them better. I think you might be able to see, if we zoom in here, that there's actually two layers. Now, one of them is meant to be uh, transparent but reflective, and the other one is kind of actually meant to be a bit shinier than this. So, first of all, let's add a new material called Eye Trans. And I'm just going to do... And of course, we need to put this material on the outer layer of vertices. So I'll make sure I'm selecting the outer layer and press L to select links, assign, and let's do that uh, A to unselect all. L, while my mouse arrow is on a vertex of the outer layer, assign, and then hopefully we should have something looking far more like the kind of eye we were expecting. 